This year, RNE experienced an increase in fights between students. 12 weeks into the school year, there have been 34 fights. This is an average of around three fights per week. Both administration and law enforcement have noticed an increase in fights and other related occurrences at many other schools as well. It kind of comes in ways. We'll have days where you don't have anything and then all of a sudden you may have a couple. Yeah, I think I've noticed uh, some increases or an increase in fights. Um, and I think it's due to because, you know, students have been out of school for so long. Local law enforcement believes one of the reasons behind the increase in fights is the rise of social media. A lot of it becomes as a result of something on social media, where somebody has said something on so social media and then it escalates until well, there's a physical confrontation. In the past few months, administration at both Richland Northeast and Spring Valley High School found guns on campus. According to an October 26th police report, a school administrator notified school resource officers that she found what she believed to be a gun in the bag of a 14-year-old male student. A loaded handgun was found by deputies. One safety is first. Um, if you have a problem or issue, we hope that you are able to converse or speak with someone in the building to help you resolve it before it gets to a physical altercation. On November 5th, deputies found a student in possession of a gun at Spring Valley High School. The student was charged with breach of peace of a high and aggravated nature and carrying a firearm on school ground. We only use force necessary to, uh, to solve a situation. And so, you know, it, sometimes there is force necessary because um, you'll have a fight, you'll have someone with a weapon, and just the appearance of a deputy is not going to stop them. One of administration's ways to try and curb the recent fights at RNE was to implement lockdown lunch. From October 31st to November 6th, students ate lunch in their second block classes. Only one student was allowed to go to the bathroom at a time, and school lunches were delivered directly to classrooms. Starting November 7th, RNE shifted to a new bell schedule. Students now report directly to their third block and wait to go to lunch until the middle of their third period class. Lunch is split into two cohorts. Students are not allowed to leave their classrooms during the other cohort's lunch. Students have varying opinions on the new lunch schedule. I really like it because my friends are in different cohorts. It's looking like it's a little better, um, and my students have reported that it's a little more peaceful at lunch. With the new changes present, administration hopes to help curb incidents at RE. At least now with the two lunches, you kind of have that moment to just kind of breathe and be able to, to spread out and just kind of enjoy each other. Reporting for RE TV Live, I'm Lillian Rosovich.